Hello there Aquarius and welcome to your oracle messages for whenever you guys get this video and it resonates for your situation regardless of the date or time. Keep in mind Aquarius that we have some fallers here. <laughs> uh, creative force, zeal, sacred songs. What do we have? This cleverness, adventure, and a leap of faith. Ooh, and they're like kissing here. These sugar gliders are kissing. Some of you guys are going to be falling in love and having romance. There's some changes happening here. So go with the go with the winds of change. Listen to what you guys are being guided to hear by spirit, by your uh, animal spirit guides, your angels, whatever you guys believe in in here. Because there's something about you guys feeling very light. Um, once again and feeling a zest and zeal for life there may be something here with mantras or sacred singing or songs here calling in your mate calling in your soulmate Ooh, aquarius let's see what else is going on here <laughs> fortunate tidings camaraderie crown chakra wow you guys are being divinely guided there's some type of divine intervention and also wow fortune tidings so fortunate you guys are coming into really big fortunate events um aquarius tribe stability circumspection so you know pay attention to not holding back onto opportunities here really there's something new something that's going to make you guys feel light it's almost like you guys are going to glide right to it and towards it um, I'm seeing a love situation. I'm seeing like doing what you guys love. I'm seeing something about having um, power and strength and communication and boundaries with yourself that are healthy, feeling confident in your decisions. Some of you guys just have to trust your coming. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Oh. Sugar glider and uh, this tribe. So I feel that you guys are going to take a leap of faith when it comes to new situations, new people new opportunities oh my goodness cute let's see what else um i don't know what i was saying with the intro but yeah if you find the messages don't resonate for you check your moon your rising your venus signs or feel free to check out the past oracle messages or sos readings or pick a card readings those are all timeless okay let's see what else uh you need to know aquarius manifestation look some of you guys just get out of your head about a situation and surrender um, or utilize things that help you guys feel very creative with your manifestation uh, powers something is happening here there's like this thing about infinite um, supply uh, energy coming towards you you know we even had that uh, creative force yes it's happening here with this cardinal look at this creative force Something about you guys singing too, um, it's gonna help with manifesting. Man, okay, which, there's another sign that had something like that too, uh, Aquarius. So I feel that some of you guys may resonate with, oh no, well, let me think if I can think of who, who it was. Um, anyhow, if it comes to mind, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, let's see, what else uh, for you, Aquarius? Oh, okay. <laughs> Those one just wanted to fall right out. Oh, you guys aren't never alone. Okay, so you guys do feel very lonely. And this is something that's being manifested here is a sense of stability, right? Um, a sense of comfort, a sense of tri a tribe here. Okay, I feel that you guys need to follow um, a serendipitous situation here. So look at this. I know that I'm never alone and we've got this balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So something is changing and happening. I feel that you guys may be feeling like maybe even um, five of pentacles or death card energy, maybe, you know, some type of ending or some type of uh, change or transformation took place. Either way, you guys are manifesting harmony here. Just, you know, uh, trust what you guys are receiving when it comes to creating and manifesting right now. Something more balance is happening for a lot of you guys. I'm getting justice card too here. Uh, Libra energy is coming through. Um, and even earth sign here. The Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, what else for Aquarius? You know what, Aquarius? I think it was Taurus's energy. I think it was Taurus. Some of you guys may have Taurus placements. I think it was Taurus. Um, I think that you guys might resonate with that reading in this series, possibly. Okay. 
what else for Aquarius? Or maybe some of you guys are going to meet a Taurus. Make your dreams real. See, you guys are manifesting a... Oh my gosh. You guys really are... Okay, so you guys are manifesting your dreams and it, it came through your challenges here. It's coming through. It's like you guys are manifesting something out of nothing. This is why you felt like you're lonely and you're, you're coming from a nothing here, but you guys are manifesting something uh, really good for you. So something about just staying patient and meticulous, work on whatever you guys are doing here. Something is happening here. And also don't be afraid to take these steps to make your dreams real. Even if it's a small step because you don't have to see the whole picture yet, okay? Trust that you guys can manifest your dreams here. What else for Aquarius? It's going to be more. Clear out the clutter. Something new is coming into your life here. So there may be something here with lightening your energy as well. Um, and also maybe clearing out old things or just your, you know, maybe look around your environment. Maybe there's some, you know, some things that you guys want to get rid of. So I feel that you guys, I mean, because I'm just getting this lightness feeling here too, okay? The lighter, the better for you. Something is entering. There's something happening with the purification process for a lot of you guys, or you're, you're manifesting that. What else? Okay, bottom of this, this one wants to see. Okay, so, oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys went through it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes life uh, stings. We got this wasp spirit. Let's see, set healthy boundaries. I was like talking about that, wasn't I? So, you know, you guys really did go through something that was very challenging, especially when it came to um, a love situation, when it came to something that was you know, deep and meaningful, but something happened, some hurt, some betrayal, whatever it was that left you felt like you got stung here. And yeah, of course, spirit is saying this is how life is, you know, sometimes life does sting, but you're doing something right now or being guided to really clear out the past energy as well to get rid of anything that you guys feel that you're clinging on to or are hard to let go of, especially when it comes to hurt. You know, that can be a real hard thing. And give yourself time and patience to, uh, it does relieve itself, especially if you felt like you've been, you know, really wronged. But this is a time right now that you guys, um, this loneliness is really bringing you guys balance because this time you guys are reinventing or looking at yourself in a situation and being in your power and being able to set healthy boundaries okay Aquarius which is a good thing what else for Aquarius hmm look at this Sun card here Aquarius Something about a transformation, having success at that. Uh, something about leadership here. A uh, strong thing about success um, and being guided towards maybe uh, something very purposeful for a lot of you guys. Um, and also there may be this energy of someone very um, happy and light being attracted towards you. Look at this, like a soulmate situation. Look, two butterflies. Mm. It's like courageously go towards your purpose and your path that you guys feel that is illuminating. Okay. And have confidence in that. Something really is your dreams. I mean, it's like make your dreams real here. You guys are going to have success. And so uh, going back, I feel that there's someone that you guys are manifesting that's light and joyful and happy, confident, you know, because this is something that you guys are coming into and changing or have transformed into. Remember, I was talking about being light. <laughs> That's what you guys are attracting. Oh, let's see. What else? Oh, my goodness. Ooh, this is coming out really strong. You guys are... Um, you guys are really strong at... Uh, your capabilities of manifesting are really strong. I just have to say that really strong i felt it very very strong here so i mean the magician card stay focused for a lot of you guys it may take some determination it may take some 
you know, you know, get creative here actually too with your your magician skills or what you know what makes you guys feel, um, you know, that's helping you guys manifest here. Yeah. What else for Aquarius? I'm picking up Leo energy too. There's something here with some of you guys with performance and talents and um, coming into a sense of like confidence with that and maybe, you know, showing yourself or showing people. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys are being guided towards the ladder of success here and there's real true advancement for you. I do see you guys really growing and learning um, and building something here. It's almost like you guys really are building a, um, something out of nothing, right? So trust something is coming into reality that's going to give you guys a sense of balance, stability. Okay, there's something with tribe and community as well with this, you know, learning together. Or you guys are someone that people are looking and learning from too. There's something about you guys with your knowledge and expanding or, or being brought a situation that um, helps you guys just keep rising up higher and higher. What else? Have confidence in yourself. The magician is all about confidence as well. Oh, environment. Look at this. And follow your dreams. Oh, my goodness. Okay. There's definitely a situation of serendipitous and serendipity at play here. Um, I'm like getting Wheel of Fortune kind of situation here. Pay attention to your environment for clues, hints, things being illuminated on your path here. Clear out the clutter or the past energies, whatever you guys maybe clinging on to that could be ca causing a little stagnation and, and something and blocking something new from coming in or something being, you know, really illuminated and like shown to you here. So you guys, oh my goodness, could you, we had this, um, yeah, there's something about clearing out your environment too, right? And healthy boundaries. Uh, but look at this. Follow your dreams. Make your dreams real. Manifestation and the magician card in the sun. Whoa. You guys are really powerful. You do know that, right? What else for Aquarius? Let spirit be your guide. Mm-hmm. So spirit is guiding you guys, helping you and aiding you in what you guys need. Here's a magician. You guys are this channel of really divine co-creation and spirit and channeling the energy to really manifest whatever you guys need on your path to really materialize for you. Okay. There's something on your path that you guys need to take an opportunity, especially if it get, makes you guys, um, if, especially if it's towards stability of any kind. Okay. What else? Okay, you guys are really collaborating. You see this? You're really collaborating and working with spirit here and building yourself and building your knowledge. So some of you guys, it's like see that alone time as pre preparation time and time with spirit so you guys can really be guided in the right direction and focused on what's really good to manifest. Look at this. We have time out. <laughs> oh, so I feel that, that there is a situation of listening to spirit's messages, letting spirit be your guide. And the only way you guys can hear that is if you do take some time out, maybe we have to really look at if there's anything that's distracting us. Could it be something in our environment? Do we need to clear out things or, you know, what is it? Something that, you know, there's something about making you guys feel lighter and taking an, a, a leap of faith here but being light and free to do so. What else for uh, Aquarius? Be loyal to what you guys love. And oh my goodness, yeah, sweet results await. Oh my goodness. Uh, can you guys even see this? The sweet results await, the sun energy. I mean, woo. You go from like being stung by life <laughs> to getting sweet results from it and really learning, 
you know, your manifestation skills and seeing the results that you guys so desire. So I see prosperity, wealth, fortune. Um, I do even see something with maybe even, you know, popularity or fame here, whatever it is, exposure, okay? Either way, there's something about you guys loving what you do, being loyal to what you guys love and having that loyalty um, back to you as well. So it's like Spirit is saying, if you guys stay true to you and be loyal to what you love, you guys really will see the results that you guys, oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys might not see it right now, but you will, okay? What else? Maybe you guys felt like what happened, you know, Aquarius, maybe some of you guys felt like what happened was you thought you, you know, or whatever, your, your dreams were materializing and then boom, something happened and you had to take a time out from manifesting your dreams. The spirit is saying, keep continuing that path. Okay. You guys are getting rewards for your efforts and, and maybe you don't see it all right now, but you will, you will see it. It will come into your environment. Okay. Oh my goodness. Three of pentacles again. Oh my gosh. Some of you guys are manifesting a person here. I just have to say this. Okay. I mean, look at this. Ooh, speaking of, oh my goodness, some of you guys might be doing something here with your skills, getting creative. Maybe you're sculpting a person or drawing a person, your dream person, whatever it is, it's working. But either way, I do see something here with artistry, sculpting, um, making something beautiful with your hands, teaching, learning, growing. There's something about also, I feel for a lot of you uh, Aquarius, there's like, um, this energy of being looked at, um, you know, like just, you know, for your work in a very good, um, and inspiring way here, some type of achievement here. Okay. But I just can't help but see you guys having this loneliness being eased here. Look at this hair font energy coming through Taurus energy. <laughs> Oh, listen to the divine messages and stay true to your path. There may be something here with really staying disciplined with your faith and trusting. Let spirit be your guide. Look, let spirit be your guide. And it's like spirit is giving this bird messages, right? And then they're setting off to flight to find you. Okay, let spirit be your guide. What else? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Some of you Aquarius actually may, okay. <laughs> you, you may resonate with Virgo's reading as well. You may even have Virgo placements, but anyhow, do whatever you guys feel resonated to do. Oh boy. Okay. So there's nothing that we can change from the past here. There's some, there is some type of, you know, being in your head, there may be this sense of really um, having a hard time letting go of what really ended here. There was some type of real painful ending. Very hurt betrayal. Oh my gosh, yeah, life stings. Look at this. Oh God. Life stings. Look. Oh my. You guys are going to recover here. You guys are going to recover. Let's get a little bit more with this. I want a little bit more with the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is why some of you guys need to clear out your energy. Because there's still this um, this lingering energy of the pain and the hurt, the deception for some of you guys, adversary. <laughs> I accept the challenges. Okay, I excel, God. This is so perfect. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay, 
So spirit is saying there's something that, yeah, we have to accept. Maybe there was a situation. There's definitely a situation that you can't go back into time. And the best way to just get up and move from a situation is to really accept that the challenges are the best way to learn. Okay. But you guys are on this road of recovery. You're on a, a path that is leading you to really um, doing what you love, um, coming more into trusting your confidence and your abilities and, um, you know, your powers of attraction and manifesting here. So the Spirit is saying it's time for to it's time for you, some of you guys, to manifest something new here. Okay, what else for Aquarius? It's like right now, it's like, yeah, you guys have hit rock bottom and it's like you have you have this, you know, it's like you have no choice but to follow your dreams here. And hello, you guys are getting what you want. Not only success, but you're getting uh, for a lot of you guys attracting a true soulmate here. Spirit has your back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, Spirit really does have your back. Pay attention to what's happening in your environment. See the signs that Spirit is sending you. Heed the messengers. Mm, the abundant universe will provide for you guys. So there's something about you guys too, not worrying about what will show up or if it's going to be enough or what will happen. Whatever you guys need, it's going to look, I mean, look at this being divinely guided. Let spirit be your guide because spirit already knows when and where, how to show things up again, something about serendipity at play here. Some of you guys, maybe even Scorpio, you might even have Scorpio uh, placements, but anyhow, uh, what else for Aquarius? And we have 10 here, some type of completion, right? Some type of getting out of worry or anxiety. It's going to, it's going to pop up and manifest here. See, you guys see clearly now. Oh my goodness. And look at the sun and card energy with make your dreams real. See, this is more about you guys being a very wise sage, um, ancient, you know, high priestess energy, Aquarius you see clearly now i mean i see even your energy as king or queen of swords if you can't see clearly you guys will okay so if you're feeling like you can't see it all yet or you're still in this state you guys are going to see something very clear some type of truth justice or just the clarity that you need it will show up especially with the sun card <laughs> Some of you guys are seeing clearly your path. What else? Mm, take the lead. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel that you guys really are um, meant to take a lead in something and maybe even pursue something a little bit different or just don't be afraid to take the first step or be the leader here. take the lead in a situation don't let something pin you down as well you guys are on this road of recovery for a lot of you guys and a lot of you guys especially talking about recovery i mean look we got the sun energy after this it's like new life new health well-being what else don't live in regret Oh, I just said don't live in regret and we've got this card of guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. There's something that I feel some of you guys are hanging on to that you feel regretful about or, you know, you just wish you could have gone back in time or there's just something here with anxiety, just worry, stress, guilt. It's spirit saying it's time to let it go, right? Sometimes we hang on to things uh, for no reason. It's not doing anything for you, but making you guys feel more and more discomfort, more and more pinned down. You guys can let it go. 
you're meant to actually here look i mean guilt is a heavy feeling right and then you've got this situation where you guys are purifying your energy you're purifying your environment and you're coming out lighter guilt-free what else for uh, Aquarius hmm surrender hmm I can release my need to control. So Spirit's saying surrender because the magic is working through you. It's being realized through you. The creative force is working inside of you. <laughs> what else? personal growth yeah you guys have achieved and are on a sense of personal growth and spiritual partnership see you guys are already there's something happening with you guys um coming into a situation of a spiritual partnership look at this wow and personal growth hmm mm hmm <laughs> so surrender what else Oh, what's going on? Oh my goodness. I'm learning. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys really had a hard time. There was there was this something that's really heavy really really heavy, right? Um, we got this card of uh, de death and endings here, you know, a, definitely an ending. Here's this death card. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. And look, you've got the magician like showing up. I thought more than once, but anyhow, you got the magician showing up here. This is a new beginning. It's a new beginning for healthy boundaries with yourself. It's a new beginning for um, more of your abilities to be enhanced. More uh, blessings coming into your life. You guys are going to get this sweet result. I mean, you got the sun card. Ooh. With this bee spirit. What else for Aquarius? Sometimes, that's, sometimes this is all you can do is to surrender, right? But it doesn't mean you give up. It just means surrender. Focus on, um, you know, things that you guys... Uh, make you guys feel more confident, more powerful, more creative. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. We're just talking about all of this. We have the Five of Swords, the Tower, and the Judgment card. There's going to be a huge shocking change. You guys are really going to rise up from a really terrible situation. Gosh, Aquarius, you guys went really went through something here. Somebody wanted to win at all costs. I mean, this is just a situation here, too. Some of you guys don't, you know, maybe some of you guys are feeling guilty or bad because maybe you felt like, you know, you've done something here. But there was something here where there was a, a necessary change because you guys had to be liberated from a situation that I feel that there was some game playing, manipulation, or someone that really just wanted to hurt at all costs and win. Maybe pride just got into the got in the way, and there's just no there's like this sense of resistance. Okay, but you guys are getting clarity. There's something about you guys getting some type of clarity, um, you know, some type of um, epiphany or some some big change here really being liberated from a situation okay freedom from this hurtful behavior because some of you guys feel like you've been in it for some time okay so there is having the you know there may be a sense of having mercy in a situation for yourself forgiveness for yourself and others but whatever you guys need you guys really need to know something here you got the three of pentacles coming out like twice here there's something about you guys um really rising up from a situation here, okay? And having a wonderful new beginning. What else? Um, 
time to collaborate. Oh my goodness. And we have the three of pentacles. So some of you guys may be inspired to reach out or to collaborate different things and ideas and make it your own or whatever it is. I do see, I do see something coming together, pieces of the puzzles working together um, and a person here. So um, some of you guys just take the opportunity to take the lead. Maybe so, that's something for some of you guys to see here because maybe some of you guys you're going to have to um, you know, take the lead and ask for that support or be the first person to initiate here. Okay. What else? Oh, whoa, whoa. Patience. Okay. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Mm -hmm. So it is happening in all in divine timing and order here. And the universe is going to provide everything you guys need in divine order. What else? slow and steady wins the race yeah you don't need to go too fast you don't need to worry and again i just get this sense of you know like a homecoming um rewards after a long journey here and really utilizing and taking what you guys have learned um, and growing from it and also helping and teaching others in some way too with it okay what else relationships i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good didn't we get um oh yes yes we did okay see you guys are meant and designed to be with a situation and people a person and relationships that actually help you guys serve your higher good oh you guys really are being divinely blessed and guided really spirit has your back in a situation something didn't work out because there it just didn't there was just you know trust what what's happening here okay trust you guys are on the right path as well so you guys really are coming into situations that are serving your higher good here lovely what else and health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. See, I see you guys really creating healthy boundaries. I mean, it's just, you guys really are coming into a sense of real power and authority and confidence, clarity of what serves you, what doesn't serve you. And you're coming into a better health situation all around, physically, mentally, emotionally. So magic is really working through you. So the better you guys feel, the more you guys are going to feel in tuned and more that it just kind of, you just surrender and flow with all of the things. Oh, there's just a lot of cards, isn't there? Okay. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping Aquarius? How is spirit helping Aquarius? Some of you guys need to hear something. You are meant to be in a state of loneliness so that you guys can really understand and see your own powers in the eyes of your own self and your own divine self, not in the eyes of what you've been viewed at or how others see you or judge you. Don't judge yourself too harshly either for some of you guys. Spirit's helping you guys with courage, finding the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Oh my goodness, look at that, that nine of swords energy. And you guys can see actually spirit is helping you guys with your courage because you see the lion here in the sun card. So spirit's helping you guys with your inner strength, your confidence with everything right now. Take the lead. My goodness, you guys were, are meant to take the lead. I feel like getting just one more. <laughs> just one more for how spirit's helping Aquarius. I know you guys are just going through it or, or have gone through it. I'm really picking up this vibe of healing hands too, okay, big time. Um, some of you guys have these healing hands or you're going to be brought into a situation of healing hands or 
connections and people that just give you this sense of um, very good, uh, vibrant energy. Okay, this is really, because I'm seeing these people here, right? This car, on this card of loneliness, and it's just like there's so much um, energy, strength in your aura, right? And we have that message of, you know, oh, right? Yeah, something about, well, anyway, something about you guys, um, you know, coming into your higher good. Okay, ooh. Hmm. So, yeah, how else spirit's helping you? Oh, let's talk about this just for a little quick. Okay, yeah, you guys are going to release any sense of hurt, jealousy, resentment, feeling stung by life. Also, spirit is saying, you know, that you guys are, um, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So, you know, maybe some of you guys are comparing yourself or you're just not honoring and seeing the true value and the true you yet, or you guys are starting to see something here. And for some of you guys, I'm just going to say this, this is, it might not even be this thing, but I do feel that spirit's helping um, some of you guys with people who are um, envious and jealous of you. Okay because I feel that there was a lot of jealousy and that's what caused a lot of triggering too in the past, okay? So, um, and especially with the energy that you guys are coming into, there is this, um, I mean, there is a, a reason to be jealous of, but, you know, trust that you guys are overcoming major challenges and being feeling, you know, really feeling that life stung you and it's like, what do you guys get out of it? Well, just watch and wait and see, okay? You guys are gonna really, um, feel uh, what's missing is going to be replaced and you'll see how spirit is showing and guiding you guys towards it. Okay. Love and light. Take care.